Okay, so I set up the diagram for this question. Um, the electron is starting near the negatively charged plate, and as it leaves this um, electric field, it barely touches the positively charged plate. And what we have to realize is that the significant distance is this vertical distance because electric force is applied only when it travels parallel to, whoops, wrong thing, parallel to the electric field lines. Whereas if it travels perpendicular to the electric field lines, it's going to experience, the charged particle will experience no electric force. So getting back to the equation, I mean the question, if I can find it. Um, and uh, the plates experience a potential difference of 60.0 volts. And we're asked to determine the minimum initial speed of the electron in the beam. So let's try to solve this problem. So the first step is we need to determine the electric field strength. So electric field strength is equal to the potential difference over the distance. So what we have is 60.0 volts divided by 0 0.040 meters, which gives us a value of 1,500 volts over meters. So next step is to determine the electric field, sorry, electric force which this negatively charged particle experiences. So electric force is equal to electric field strength multiplied by the charge of the particle, therefore 1500 volts over meters multiplied by the charge of the particle which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Therefore, if you plug in the calculator, that will give us a force of 2.4 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons. <clears throat> now the final step is, we need to determine how much work is done on that negatively charged particle. So, work is equal to force times distance, therefore, our force is 2.4 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons multiplied by the distance which is 0 0.040 meters which gives us <coughs> excuse me a value of um, 9.6 times 10 to the negative 18 joules and in order to determine the velocity of this electron we need to let that equal to kinetic energy so we let that work, which is 9 plus 6 times 10 to the negative 18 joules, let that equal to mv squared over 2. And when we solve for the v, we have the root of 2 times 9.6 times 10 to the negative 18 over the mass of the electron, which is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31, and if you plug that into the calculator, we get a value of 4.6 times 10 to the 6 meters over second.